Thank you. Well, <clears throat> we're very, very pleased to be here for the first time. Clyde was telling me he, this is his first time to be in this part of eastern Kentucky, though he's traveled around. I guess you said you've been to a few places around here, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've been here. Not here. I've been to McKee, Pineville, and all in through there. Not even close, Clyde. Oh, Bur <laughs> I know it. I know it. Uh. <laughs> Well, how do you like it here, Clyde? Oh, I'd rather be here than anywhere I believe I've ever been. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to move here. <laughs> it, it is a lot different where Clyde lives, even though it's in the Cumberland Mountains. It really, the, the Cumberland uh, Mountain Range flattens out in South Central Kentucky, and it really makes a true plateau. And really, when you get across the state line in Tennessee, where Clyde has lived, and he really might be moving here before too long, it uh, becomes a big flat tabletop. But when you get right around where he was born, uh, I guess the biggest difference are the, the big cliff lines that stand down. Yeah. Uh, you see naked rock bluffs everywhere there, and, and it's not mines, it's uh, just the natural formation of the Cumberland Plateau right there. and it, It's a very beautiful part of the state too. Y'all need to do like Buck Maggard and get down there to Clyde's end of the country some. Bobby, we'd like to break in and, and somebody, whoever's driving the black Lincoln Continental, their lights are on out there in the parking lot. They don't belong to me, I can assure you. <laughs> Clyde here is a treasury of, of great American fiddle tunes. He does play a lot that no one else plays. One of them is the name of his new cassette recording out there, Punching Camps. I've never heard this one before. Maybe some of you have. <laughs> ¶¶ 